and the body will function and the gifts will work and you will see all of these nine gifts begin to operate. We need to be praying and asking God to give us these gifts. And He will. And you keep asking and be persistent and never quit. Never stop. Always reach out because it's real and it's essential for us in these last days to move in the Spirit. Now, so this chapter tells us to covet earnestly. That's what I'm trying to preach to you tonight. Covet, this is one time you can covet. It means desire to have. Earnestly. The best gifts, what does that mean? Some are inferior to others? No, the ones that are best for you. The ones that God would bring forth in you. Whatever they may be. And yet show I, show I unto you a more excellent way. The gifts of the Spirit have to be regulated by something. God knows that our human nature could never handle it if we could just walk around doing miracles and prophesying, doing all this stuff at our own will. We can't. It's got to be God doing it through us. So there has to be a regulation. And in chapter 13, we've got 10 minutes yet, I guess we should, let's go for it. Let's get a little of this anyway. Unless you had enough. All right, well, uh, well I'm going to, well, I'm going to use that 10 minutes. All right, all right, okay. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, I mean, angels have a certain language they speak in? Apparently so. Otherwise, he wouldn't have mentioned it here. And I am sure that uh, Rosetta Stone doesn't offer that course. <laughs> or Burlitz or any of these language schools. Call them up and say, Can you, you got that tongues of angels? You got that? Huh? <laughs> And have not charity. This is agape love. In other words, love that expects nothing in return. So if you have the ability to speak with tongues of men and of angels, but you don't have that regulating love that will keep you straight. He says, I am become as a sounding, br as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Whether I'm loud or soft, I'm just a noisemaker. I'm not doing any good. I've got to have love regulating it. So it isn't, the gifts of the Spirit are not used to terrorize people, to help them. Okay? And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity or this agape love. I'm nothing. I am nothing. Again, the love of God regulating all things. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity, see, we think of charity as giving somebody something. You know, give them a gift of money or food or something. It's much more than that. Uh, in our language, the word love is so misunderstood that the word charity is used here. In the Greek language, there are many different words for love. One is agape, which is perfect, pure, beautiful love where you just, you know, reach out with not wanting anything back. And that's what he's talking about here. So he says, charity suffereth long. It's patient, in other words. Puts up with a lot. And is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. Isn't boastful. Is not puffed up. See, because if you don't have this, what are those gifts going to do to you? 
all these other things, all these negatives. If you don't have love, everything negative will come as a result of you having being used in a gift. Pride. Yes, pride, being puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. In the truth. Beareth all things. Believeth all things. Hopeth all things. Endureth all things. Do you see what that kind of love will do for you? It will put you right there in the midst of the favor of God. That's what you want. And that's right where we want to be. Charity never faileth. Now right here we're going to come to some of the favorite verses of the Baptists. Which we're going to promptly shoot down. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And right there all the Baptists say, Oh yeah, that's right, they, they, they shut off, they're, they're gone. For some reason they just love to come against it. I've read their books, I've read their tracts, I've read the things by Oliver B. Green and John R. Rice and these others. Shame on them. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. Now, if they're going to say there are no more tongues, then there's no more knowledge. Now, you've got a church without knowledge. You've got a church without wisdom. You've got a church without faith. That's about what we've got out there. Because you pull one of the gifts, you've got to pull them all. It's a package deal, folks. All these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. When will they cease? When the Lord comes, because you don't need them anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Meaning the gifts of the Spirit, yes, they'll be done away, they won't be needed anymore. Once that which is perfect is come. Now what they will tell you is, that's the Bible. Isn't that something they'll say, that which is perfect is come. They say, that's the Bible. Once the Bible is given, the gift stopped. So God gave his word to stop the gifts. Hmm? And then, they kick out the King James Bible anyway, and get one from, what's his name, that pornographer over there. What's his, what's his, Rupert Murdoch. The NIV, owned by Rupert Murdoch, the pornographer. They got a Bible that a pornographer owns the copyright on. You know, there is an atheist group out there right now. Duane gave me an article on this. They're calling for people to turn in their Bibles and exchange them for pornography. It won't be long. I mean, they're pushing the envelope. It won't be long. The earth is shaking. The earth is rumbling. Changing its course. Magnet magnetic pole is moving toward Russia. Every kind of thing is going on. Weird things out in space that they can't figure out. This is it, folks. We're, we are the people of the last generation. We better just uh, grab onto that and understand it. Because we're down to the wire.